Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to part 4 on CMS blogging systems. Today we will be writing our code in order to validate this particular file. But very first, I will be creating a very small div on the top. So if there would be any errors, it would be showing up on here on the top. Okay. So out here, what I would be doing is, okay, this is the actual login page that we are working with. And here I'm gonna say div ID errors, okay? And there, there would be some space like this so that we can actually work with this particular depth. And out here on the bottom, I'm gonna say div ID uh, errors. And I've got a very good background and a bottom color out here. So I'm gonna say background would be equals to a light blue color and the bottom will be equals to this particular color. Okay. So I'm gonna say bottom. This one. Let's see how does it look. Okay, okay, it, it is here on the top, but uh, we want it to be on the bottom. Okay, we can give it some you know padding and all that, but for that, I have to open my fire button so I can say width to 500 pixels and a margin to auto. Now it is here in the bottom and we can reduce it. Right. Yep. And here I can say margin top to 400 pixels. Mm. 285 pixels. So copy it. Uh, paste it here on this child sheet and because now as we are giving you know our 285 margin from the top to our errors we don't have to provide any margin to our actual login form otherwise it will go you know even on the very bottom so we can take that particular margin out now uh, the margin would be here 200 pixels we can take that one out Okay, or we can say, you know, margin top to 20 pixels. Yep, that, that looks pretty fine. And uh, here I can say margin top to, to uh, 40 pixels. Okay, that looks pretty fine. Then I can say padding to 10 pixels. And the bottom radius to four pixels, and we can provide the prefixes for the mass and the WebKit as well. So out here, I can say WebKit, and this one would be mass. Okay. Come back, refresh. This is how it looks. So if there would be any errors, you could be showing them out here. And reduce the width now. I'm gonna make it to 385 pixels. Okay. 385. Uh, okay guys, that looks pretty fine. Now we would be writing our PHP code in order to validate this particular login page very first i would be writing it up on here on the top but later we will you know uh, move it to a different file but we can do it right now that's fine uh, okay. that would be out here so this admin is correct very first we need to make a connection with our database so i would be creating a file I will name it to connection.php and we'll be writing the code in order to make a connection. And that will be very, very easy. Very first, 
I would be creating a variable. I'm gonna name it to Donald DB host. That would be the host. It would be local host for me. Then would be dollar db user that is root okay would be db password that is nothing for me as I'm on my local host and db name the database name we are using that's equal to CMS okay now there is a very simple MySQL query to make a connection that's MySQL connect so I will say connect to this particular host by using this user and by using this password if you are not able to connect please go ahead and give us a mysql error and i'll make it equal to a variable that's connection out here i would be saying mysql select db it would be selecting the database for us so select the database with the name of db name by using the above connection okay so that looks pretty fine uh, okay and one more thing we need to do is we need to create a file i'm going to say login script.php okay it's not even scripts I can open it here. I'm gonna open the PHP tags. The very first, I have to include a file that is my connection file. Okay, connection.php. Now, out here, I have to say include once scripts slash login scripts dot php okay so the, my form method is post and it's action towards login dot php that's absolutely fine and i'm gonna take this particular name attribute from here that is login into admin panel what i'm gonna say is if is set that means if a button has been pressed or any action uh, like has been done go ahead and include this particular file and run the codes that we want to run <clears throat> very first we want to create some variables so the username will be equal to the posted variable of the username and the password will be equal to password okay then I'm gonna say if empty that means if these fields are empty dollar username uh, are empty dollar password go ahead and echo please fill the required fields <clears throat> okay go ahead refresh the page hit submit here it says on the top please fill the required fields okay so <clears throat> guys uh, let me explain you why I'm doing if you're if you're a beginner what I'm doing is uh, out here I have a field called username and I have a field called password so I'm getting them out here in the post variable and I'm creating a PHP variable then I'm making a check if they are empty empty is already a predefined function of PHP so this function itself knows what it, uh, it has to do then I'm saying if it's empty it does not have any value and if the password is empty uh, it also does not have any value just let the user know please fill in the required fields but for now I'm gonna make it equal to a variable because we don't want to echo it out here okay 
uh, then I'm gonna say else dollar username equals to strip tags dollar username so if there would be any HTML tags we will be taking them off then I'm gonna say password would be strip password uh, strip tags I'm sorry dollar password okay guys and uh, make sure once you are entering any kind of a username or password from your 